There's a fair bit of excitement going on around semi-solid state batteries. Neo has just put semi-solid state batteries from We Lion, the Chinese battery company, into its new ES6. Apparently, range figures in Europe are saying it has, well, a disappointingly low range considering the size of its 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pack. Something's going on. Something doesn't add up. Semi-solid state batteries don't make sense. If you think about what Geely just did, what is the point? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and let's just start, first of all, by outlining what I'm on about here. You're probably thinking, what do you mean? These, it sounds amazing. 577 miles of range. Well, does it? I mean... We have to consider the fact that this is a semi-solid state battery. It's 150 kilowatt hours in size, the battery pack powering the ES6, giving it 577 miles of range. Now, the ES6, it's, it's not a small car. It's not massive either. It's only just a little bit bigger than a Tesla Model Y. Now, Neo is saying that this new solid state battery is slightly heavier, but much more energy dense than its current lithium ion packs. So let's have a look at what exactly it's doing. And then I'll explain to you why I think people, not just me, by the way, but people are a bit surprised and disappointed by the range of this EV. User manuals released by Neo include a new 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pack alongside the existing battery types. The solid state batteries will be available in the Neo Air 6 in China starting in July and probably Europe a few months after that as per Neo CEO William Lee. In solid state batteries, solid electrolytes, the charge carrying components between the two electrodes are used instead of liquid or polymer gel electrolytes in current lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. Several companies have announced investments in solid state battery technology for its advantages over lithium ion batteries. Primarily the fact that they can theoretically be more energy dense and therefore give an electric car even more range, plus have faster charging speed. So really the common belief right now is that solid state batteries or semi-solid state batteries are more energy dense, therefore they're better, and they'll take up less physical space and be lighter than current lithium ion batteries. But is that actually true in the real world? Doesn't appear to be the case. The document reveals that Neo's new 150 kilowatt hour battery supplied by Beijing's We Lion tips the scales at 575 kilograms, 20 kilos heavier than CATL's 100 kilowatt hour packs widely available on Neo models. Keep in mind though, those CATL packs uh, appear to be possibly the previous model. Neo's battery offers an energy density of 261 watt hours per kilogram. That's in theory, 44.44% higher than CATL's unit with 180 watts per kilo. Like I said though, that's CATL's old technology. There are 384 cells in the pack. That though is a significantly bigger number than the 96 cells in the CATL pack. The energy density of these new semi-solid state batteries is 360 watts per kilo meaning that the ES6 is said to be able to do 1,000 kilometers of range, in fact, just over, or 620 miles. However, official numbers now say that tested in the real world using China's CLTP testing, which is actually not very realistic, it can do 577 miles, which is 930 kilometers. Now compare that to Zika's new 001. The Zika 001 is a bigger car than the Neo ES6 in every way, except for in height. It's wider, it's longer, but it's not quite as high. However, it has a lot more range on the CLTP cycle. It has 641 miles of range and it doesn't have a semi- that means on the same testing cycle, it has 60, nearly 65 miles more range and it's bigger. And yet it has a smaller battery pack. It uses a 140 kilowatt hour non semi solid state battery from CATL. That battery pack is therefore significantly cheaper than the battery pack being used in Neo's ES6. G 
Geely revealed its updated version of the Zika 001 EV, which is now available. Currently, you can buy this with a 140 kilowatt hour battery pack, and it will give the Zika 001 an incredible 641 miles of range. That's 1,032 kilometers. So what is really strange about all of this is the fact that the battery is smaller by nearly 10%. I mean, it's 140 kilowatt hour battery versus Neo's 150 kilowatt hour battery. It's not a solid state battery. It's in a bigger car. And yet this car has significantly more range than Neo's ES6. Are semi-solid state batteries really as good as we hoped they would be? Well, at this point, they are not. The reason I say that, the battery pack in the Zika 001 is much more affordable. It's made by CATL. It uses the new Cheerin battery, which is a structural battery pack. It's a much more affordable battery pack. It's basically technology we know and understand, like a modified, improved version of today's lithium ion battery cells. I've been saying this for a long time now. Semi solid state batteries, or even solid state batteries, are really not the future we need. I believe automakers are getting off track here. They think they are. And then all of a sudden, they put them in a car and they realize, actually, they're still inferior than even today's state-of-the-art lithium-ion battery technology. Personally, I think the Zico 001 is the better car here. In my opinion, it is anyway. Now, that's, of course, subjective. And there's no real reason for people not to say the Neo ES6 is not a great car. But is it worth paying more for the ES6 when it has significantly less range than the 001 and it's smaller? Well, I don't think so. But either way, my point here is this. Semi-solid state batteries are certainly not the answer that the media has been portraying them to be. As you can see, they're actually not even better than lithium ion battery packs that aren't using semi-solid state battery technology. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.